Hey, what is up? My name is Matt Workman, and welcome to CineTracer version 0.60. In this video, we're going to look at the very, very beginnings of the experimental VR mode. So I have not been a huge fan of VR in the past. Honestly, I get very motion sick uh, in general. Uh, so VR, VR has always been kind of difficult for me. But after working with it a little bit and talking to a lot of filmmakers who are very interested in VR, I started to get more interested, and now I really like VR, so I put it in here, and I'm interested to see how many of the CineTracer users are interested to see the development of the VR mode continue as well. So VR, mo VR mode, first of all, only works currently in the flat map right now. It may work in the other ones later. Uh, it's just that VR in general requires uh, a lot of performance because you're rendering two screens basically at the same time. So you have to make your maps uh, very uh, simply for them to render at a good frame rate. So what I recommend people doing uh, is using the prefabs or building a simple set like this. So I'm going to throw down a floor, and we have some new assets that are very lovely here. I'm going to put a couple of these down. And you just want to build your own VR set here, basically. This is kind of like a VR map creator at this point uh, with a 2D mode, a couple palettes down here for fun as well. And so that's our set really quick. And let's grab uh, an actor here. Uh, her, and we're not going to use the camera because we don't have a VR camera yet, but just to be able to see the cameras is pretty, it's pretty awesome uh, in my opinion. So I'm going to drop this one like here. Again, we're not really going to use it, it's just for show. And I'm going to place her there as well. I'm going to click on this and go up, 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 just kind of generally like that. So to get into VR mode, you have to have launched CineTracer with the Steam VR off. Right? So Steam will tell you that. Actually, it took me a second to figure that out. This is my first time testing it on actual Steam. So turn off Steam VR and then launch CineTracer and let CineTracer and Steam VR launch at the same time. That's the only way it works, I guess. So uh, I have tested this with the Vive Pro, with the Vive Pro I that I have upstairs, and the Valve Index. Those are the ones I've only tested. They also work with the Valve Index controllers. I haven't tested it with Oculus yet. You'll have to let me know. And I haven't tested wi Windows Mixed Reality, though I intend to get the G2 uh, in the future. So put on your HMD like this, right? OK. And so uh, you're going to need to go to Editor Mode. I apologize for the loud noises if you're wearing a headset. And click Enter VR Mode. And here we are in our VR mode. So I'm going to suit up here like this. I don't need the audio. Grab my hands here. OK, so I am going to back up just a little bit so I don't smash my, uh, my controller. So here I am very randomly in the world, right? And I have my hands here. Uh, there they go. So if you have uh, Vive controllers, the little grips will do this. The trigger will do that. And then the thumbs are actually located like this as well. So you have this big obnoxious UI here, and it says that the left controller, D-pad or joystick down, gets rid of this VR menu on your left hand. So that's how that works. Uh, the right controller, D-pad, if you do left and right, uh, will do turn in place like this. I'm spinning around. And then we have a really bad teleport. <laughs> so, And that's the down button on the right controller. So if you want to get rid of this, you have to point towards it. They don't have a little, they don't have a pointer yet. And then pull the trigger. Right? So now if I hit the down button on the right controller, I will teleport over here. Where'd my camera go? Didn't I put a camera down? Oh, whoa. OK, we teleported. Crazy. Oh, OK. I'm still <laughs> learning how to do this myself. I'm going to teleport here. I'm going to try to just spin and not move. Again, I'm still working on these controls. Where's the camera? There it is. Here we are. Oh, yeah, this is the money. So if you can get yourself here, it's pretty awesome, to be honest. Like, this feels like you're in front of a real camera. It's good that this is like a. Uh, a more realistic camera as well. It's pretty nuts. You can't actually move it yet, though there's the thought to make that happen. I'd rather just actually use inertia wheels, but pretty cool. So this is all the VR mode is for now. Again, you can get back to here. Uh, you can show the control for no reason. <laughs> I'm just learning it. And you could end VR mode, which I don't want to do right now, but that's how you would end it. Uh, or you can hit Escape on the keyboard. That will end VR mode as well, like this. So uh, for now, it's just kind of like, hey, let's go uh, walk around our scene. Right, Just kind of see how this looks in person, in 3D, and man, in VR, do these characters 
look very different. I mean, everything is very different. Scale all of a sudden is like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, like you are in the middle of this and it's like a, just a completely different uh, experience. So that is it for VR mode, actually. Uh, you can do all dynamic lighting. You could turn ray tracing on. I would definitely not recommend doing it. Wow, I'm so bad. I'm used to the index controllers at this point. So, wow, I have teleported myself very far away. So sorry about this. Oh, I'm in the camera. Uh, I'm going to get lost in just playing in here. But anyway, check out the VR mode. Definitely should work for the index and the Vive Pro. I'm going to hop back out. Wow, it's, it's pretty weird to be in there. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to hit escape. And we're back in editor mode. So it's cool. Oh, it's so loud. You can go back and forth between 2D mode to do the set layout, do your camera work in 2D if you want, and then hop into VR just to look around. And so um, I'm interested. How many people have VR systems, have CineTracer, are interested to see this go down? I'm interested in it. But I do have to kind of gauge the interest, with, um, how much development time I give to it based on interest and how many people are going to be using it, etc. So let me know if you end up using it, any pictures of you using it or demo videos or anything like that. It's all very helpful for me. If you're an Oculus user, I don't even know how you use Oculus with Steam yet. Um, it's something I'll figure out. I have a Quest. I'll buy a Rift just to make sure that it can be supported. But just know that, you know, in my opinion, the Vive Pro and the Index are just kind of like better. They work with the base station. You can use the Vive trackers, which I'm a huge fan of, of course. Um, so the outside in tracking systems, I just tend to kind of like those a lot more. And they're, they're also easier to support uh, in Unreal Engine, in my, in my opinion so far. But let me know about the VR mode. Uh, the viewing mode is kind of optional. I think it's pretty awesome, uh, actually. Uh, it is hard performance-wise. So if you add a bunch of lights, you're going to get a terrible performance in VR, because uh, lights are very expensive. It's one of the most expensive things to have. But um, what will not be optional is if you want to do mocap inside of CineTracer with hands and the index controllers and punch people in CineTracer and record that action and then film it, that's going to require Vive trackers at the end of the day. You're going to use the headset. We're going to use whatever controllers you have, but you're going to need Vive trackers. So we're talking Vive Pro or Index ecosystem. If you had to choose right now and you wanted to have a system that's going to work for virtual production VR, CineTracer VR, and also Vive mocap, it's the Vive Pro, Pro, Vive Pro I, or the Index with Vive trackers that will work all together. Those are the ones that are the best. Uh, there are hacks to make, make the Oculus work with the Vive trackers, but it, it's, it's not first party supported, so I can't really recommend it. If you just want to look around, the Oculus will probably be fine. But if you want to have like the full functionality of this, Vive Pro I, Valve Index, that is the way to go. I have made a lot of demo videos in one day. That wraps it up. Again, any feedback, very interested to hear about it in the VR mode. And in the future, we'll be looking at even more crazy, crazy stuff for, for Cinetracer. I'll see you guys on the next video.